Welcome to Carrie's Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'll be showing you my flare gown. It's going to be a monostrap dress with a bishop sleeve. The measurements we'll be needing are the length of our dress, the shoulder measurements, round shoulder, the sleeve length, and the round sleeve. And don't forget we upload our cutting and sewing tutorial separately. So if you're watching the cutting, you also need to watch the sewing tutorial. And remember to leave your comments in the comment section below. Celebrity Taylor drops every Friday. Please click on the subscribe link on Niger in TV. And also click the bell to get notified each time we upload a new video. So my dress, you can use it either with the belt or without the belt. And you're good to go. So let's move to the cutting table. Right. First, I'm going to fold a, a double flare, and that means 180 degree flare. So this is my Ankara fabric. This is by 45, and I'll be folding into two. After folding into two, I'll form a triangle shape so I can get my 180 degree flare. And having done that, we're going to measure out the shoulder measurement. And the shoulder measurement is 13 inches. Now that my fabric is folded into, into four, one, two, three, and four, it's going to be my shoulder measurement divided by two. And that will give me 6.5 inches. Shoulder is 13 inches divided by two is 6.5 inches. Now to get my 6.5, I need to confirm. I have a video on how to call different types of flare. You can watch to get a better understanding of this. I need to confirm my measurements. Good. So from here, I'm going to take the length of my dress and the length is 36 inches. So I'm going to take the length of 36 inches. The next thing to do is to bring out the shoulder measurement and that will be done on the open parts. This is the open part of my fabric. So I'm going to bring out the ham hole measurement and to bring that I'll measure 8 inches. You can go ahead to use 8.5. Now this is the straight part of my fabric. As you can see, when it is folded like this, it brings out the straight shape. So I'm going to trace out my ham hole with a straight part of the fabric, not this way. So creating the ham hole, you have to go with the straight part of the fabric. And at the other side, I'm going to measure the width and the depth of my neck design. And that will be, you can always go with your desired measurements though, but I'll be making use of three inches and the depth of 3.5 inches. You can also go with 2.5 by 3.5 or 2.5 by 3. You can always go with your desired measurement. So I'm going to trace out the neck design as well as the ham O. So let's cut it out. So I'm going to open from here. And the next thing to do, this is my fabric. Wherever you want to, okay, I'm going to turn to the front part of the fabric now. All right. Now, if you want um, the shoulder part, that's the monostrap part to be on the right or you want it to be on the left hand side whichever side you want it you can go ahead to reduce the length so that's what i'll be doing now 
And to do that, you have to measure the depth which you want first. And to measure the length, you can go with 5, 6, 7, depending on how low you want it. I will make do with 5.5 inches. 5.5 inches is the depth which I want. So I'm going to connect now from my neck design. I'm going to cut it out to the end. Okay. And now because this has turned to uh, more like an off shoulder dress, I need to come in by two inches. And from the two inches, I'll connect it back to my normal arm O. So we are done with this. We then move to cutting out the sleeve. So to cut the sleeve now, first we need to fold my round sleeve measurement. The round sleeve measurement is 12 inches divided by two is six inches plus three will give us nine inches. That's to fold. But here I have extra one inch to make it 10. You can actually make this wider than the num what I have here can make it wider than that also the length here is 20 inches the normal length is 17 inches plus 3 inches is what I have to make it 20 inches I brought out my 4 inches for folding and to bring out the armhole shape that's a normal measurement of 4 inches and of course the round measurement 12 divided by 2 is 6 inches plus 1 will give us 7 so actually the round the 12 inches is for the upper arm the upper arm measurement i'm sure you can see this and i'm still going to maintain the same measurement all the way down so it's for the upper arm measurement i'm going to maintain the same measurement all the way down so the 12 inches plus one is seven so i'll add extra inch of eight inches so i'm bringing down the eight i'm bringing down the eight inches so that I can have a wide sleeve. I want it wide and thereafter I'll be pleating this. So to cut this part, you can just, we have a cuff to do all this anyways. But in the absence of your cuff, just bring out a slant shape. Then you bring it operating your arm o design. That's the easiest way to do that. Alright, so I folded my fabric and I have the two sleeves cut out already. But don't forget, one of the sleeves is um, going to be an off shoulder sleeve. So, for that reason, I'm going to bring down the measurement of I need 4 inches. So, I have 4.5 inches here. This is my 4.5 inches with my same allowance. So, I'm going to cut it out. So, this part of my sleeve will go to the off shoulder part of my dress so let's go to the um to cutting out the band for the sleeve to do that the band measurement is three inches and my normal measurement that's the round sleeve measurement now is 10 inches so i'm going to measure the three inches width folded into two i'm going to take 3.5 inches with my same allowance that's my 3.5 inches. The round sleeve is 10 inches. I also need my um, seam allowance. I'll just make it 12 inches. I need two of these for the other sleeve as well. So I'm cutting this out. So that after this, we can move to the sewing part of our video. And to do that, you know, we upload our cutting and sewing tutorial separately. So don't forget to watch the sewing part of this tutorial. You can leave your comments in this comment section below. Kindly ask questions for more understanding. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram at Africa TV. Follow me on Facebook and on Instagram at Carrie's Creations. All right, so I guess we're done with the cutting and we'll move to the sewing part of our tutorial. Bye.